maximize someone's effort to achieve a goal and is able to create that influence is a leader and a leader is someone and in, to be in a plain and simple word leader is someone who leads others now based upon Krishna's life and on um, what the virtues that are stated in Bhagavad Gita chapter 13 and chapter 16 I have extracted few I have extracted 10 C's and those C's are common sense communication commitment competence confidence conviction character courage clarity and coach we won't discuss this in depth maybe in uh, next session if possible we may elaborate on that because it, it, it requires a substantial amount of discussion but these are the and this is what when I talk about the skills these are the skills that we need but these skills and this is what we need to unlock unlock our potential these are the potentials that resides within us it is not that it is not there we don't have to attend any universities or we have to read any books to actually understand that these basic qualities are already within us what we need to realize is that we need to unlock those potentials and 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 that is the art how do you unlock that and that is will we'll be moving to the next section to answer that question but basically the skills that we have is common sense what is common sense it is abundance of common sense is wisdom abundance of common sense is wisdom if we have common sense we are wise communication communication the point is that we we have got two ears and one mouth that that is more that defines it, what we need to do, that we need to listen more and talk less. That is communication and that is one of the qualities of the leaders. Second is commitment. What is commitment? There is a difference between commitment and promise. Promise is a statement of intent and commitment is a promise that is going to be kept no matter what. That is what it is com commitment. That promise, I, ex I have an intention to do something but commitment is that no matter what I will keep my promise that is commitment now competence and confidence they go hand in hand confidence without competence is de delusional and competence without confidence is unfulfilled potential so if you if we have confidence but if we lack competence it is useless and if we have confidence but we don't have competence again it is useless so we need to have that right combination of competence and confidence now conviction conviction is there's a phrase preferences give way under pressure convictions don't that is what conviction is if you have a preference in life that I can do this I can do that under pressure that is going to crumble down but if there is a conviction no matter what I will do it that is conviction character character is actually inner strength inner belief trusting in your own abilities that is character and that comes from something which is called as conscience there's a something which is conscience conscience is different from consciousness conscience is actually voice of consciousness that is the so the strength of your conscience is your character now courage courage is fearless not to fear Swami Vivekananda says that fear is weakness and weakness is sin so that is your courage not to fear no matter what never fear and there's a quotation that is coming to my mind I think is from Abraham Abraham Lincoln he says that never fear to negotiate but never negotiate out of fear and that is courage courage not to fear fearlessness and there is something just on that point look fear itself is it's it's a misnomer if we look at this word carefully F stands for false E stands for evidence A stands for appear and R stands for real it says false evidence appearing real that is what it is fear fear is a 
creation of mind and that is again that principle that we come to so uh, just just to recollect things what the point that we are trying to discuss here is that we have the potential and then we need to unlock those potentials and what are those potentials those potentials are 10 C's from where did we get those 10 C's those 10 C's are coming from chapter 13 and chapter 16 and they are coming from the life of Krishna and those 13 C's are present in everyone what we need to realize is that we need to unlock it uncover it and how do we cover it by the principle of mind management now we will move uh, to the uh, and then we have got clarity clarity is clarity of thinking clarity of vision clarity of purpose that is important as a leader and then we need to be a coach we should be able to coach and mentor people from time to time there without any any feeling or having that intention of competing with someone. The coach is a person who is selflessly trying to motivate someone to achieve his best. That is a coach. Trying to bring the best in others, not trying to dig dirt. Now, in the next one. See, it's just, I'll just read the slides. And uh, the slide, uh, the, the view, why Krishna is a leader, why I'm, I'm just saying that Krishna is a leader. Swami Vivekananda's view is, he, Krishna, is the most rounded uh, man I know, wonderfully developed, equally in brain, heart and hand. Every moment is alive with activity, either as a gentleman, warrior, minister or something else. 5,000 years have passed and he has influenced millions and millions. That is a leader. That is the mark of a leader. Second. Oso's view and there is, there is a reason for having Oso's view because Oso has got a very different uh, thinking ability. He generally disagrees with most of the things and here it is important that if he agrees with Krishna's life, so it's worth stating it then. He accepts life in all its features, he is Krishna. In all its climates and colors, he alone does not choose. He accepts life unconditionally. He does not reject love. He alone does not turn his face from war. He is full of love and compassion and yet he has the courage to accept. Courage is important. See, courage to accept and fight a war. His heart is utterly non-violent, yet he plunges into the fire of violence when it becomes unavoidable. He accepts the nectar and yet he is not afraid of poison. This is a mark of the leader. So we have discussed what makes Krishna a great leader, those 10 qualities, those 10 attributes makes him a great leader and why is he a leader? And that is basically two paras which is trying to testify that Krishna is a leader. Now we and we'll move to the next one.